So whenever I talk about electricity, I always start by talking about static electricity. And I always like to think about charges as well. So you might know from chemistry what charge is. So you get things that are positively charged. These are uh, protons. Okay. So protons in the nucleus of an atom causes positive charge. And that's usually, in most cases, matched by an equal number of negative charges uh, electrons. Okay, so electrons. Now, in most cases, they're the same in an atom. There's the same number of protons, same number of electrons. If there isn't, then you've got something called an ion. Um, but we'll just focus on these these two things: positive charges and negative charges. Hopefully, you know that if they come near each other, they will attract each other. If you get two negative charges together, or you get two positive charges together, then they will repel each other. Like charges repel, opposite charges attract. We also know that protons are really, really big compared to electrons, which are really, really small. Okay, um, So when we're talking about the motion of these charges, we are always talking about electrons. Okay, electrons are the things that are are going to be moving in an electrical circuit. So they are the things that are going to be carrying charge around the circuit. If you've got something with lots and lots of electrons built up on it, then you've got uh, you've got you've got something with a negative charge. If you've got something with fewer electrons on it than protons, then you've got something with a positive charge. Okay, let's think about. Let's talk about this in terms of static electricity. So st electricity normally is electrons moving about a circuit. Static electricity is when you've got electrons not moving. What type of material do electrons not move in? Well, that's an insulator. Okay, Insulators, insulators do not allow electrons to move through them. Yeah, So you can build up static electricity on insulators. If you've got something, let's say, a piece of polythene, yeah, that is going to that is going to keep electrons where they are. That's going to hold them still. If I wanted to transfer electrons to a polythene rod, okay, I could use a duster or something like that. And that's what I've got over here. So I've got this polythene rod at the bottom here. And then I've got a duster here. At the minute, they've got about the same number of protons and about the same number of neutrons. Uh, sorry, about the same number of protons, about the same number of electrons. So currently, they are both. They both have no charge. Yeah. If I were to take this, if I was to take this rod and I was to, uh, if I take the duster and rub it on the rod like that, then I can transfer some electrons over. I can't transfer protons over because protons don't move. They are locked within the, uh, the nucleus of, of the atoms. However, the electrons can move if I use some friction. So I, I take, the, take the duster and I, and I transfer it across. What's going to happen is some electrons are going to be transferred from the rod, uh, from the duster, and onto the rod. So I will actually end up with lots and lots of electrons built up on on the rod okay and then i will end up with some of the well a lot of these electrons are going to be not be on the cloth anymore so what is uh, so what charge are we going to have here we're going to have a negative charge because there's a lot of negative charged things on this rod in one place here okay so we can call we can attract positively charged things using this rod this this positive this cloth here is now positively charged because it's got an excess number of positive charges. Yeah. It's the electrons have moved off the cloth onto the rod. So we've got a negatively charged rod and a positively charged cloth. If they move the other way, then it will be the opposite. Okay? So to summarize, charges, things that have built up charge only happen uh, it's only due to electrons moving. So it's only because electrons are moving. You can't say the positive charges are moving off the rod because they're not. Okay, Positive charges can't move anywhere. It's only the negatively charged electrons that can move.
Okay. Um, also, if I were to rub this cloth on there long enough and I transferred enough electrons to the rod, so I get loads and loads and loads of electrons, we know already that electrons are negatively charged. They don't like to be around any other negatively charged things. They repel those negatively charged things. If I was to build up loads and loads of electrons on this rod, then eventually I could end up sparking. I could end up with a spark when the electrons try to escape the rod and get to somewhere where they can basically just get away from each other. And then I'd end up with a neutral rod. Okay, you might have seen a device at school called a Van de Graaff generator. Van de Graaff generators operate with these great big belts that then transfer a lot of charge to a dome on the top, a metal dome on the top. And this metal dome on the top will hold all of these electrons on it um, whilst this belt is spinning around and around and around and around. This dome will build up lots and lots of negative charge. And then if I was to bring, say, a finger nearby, okay, then... I might end up with a big, uh, some of, a lot of these electrons might jump through the air into the finger and that's when you end up with a spark and that's when you end up with an electric shock because the electrons are no longer still, they are moving. So it's now normal electricity, it causes shocks and it causes sparks. Okay.